Uh, how about some timeline formations? Oh. Well, that's interesting. I kind of feel like it would maybe be a decent starting move to... Well, no, we would have stopped their queen, their pawns from becoming queens, don't we? Okay. And over here, let's see if we, uh, this pawn could be vulnerable. Interesting. Uh, we take this pawn, put it over here. Okay, this is uh, an interesting challenge, that's for sure. Okay, I think we go here. Over here. Maybe we go there? Or... Something like that. Alright, that pawn's taken. And this pawn... Is hard. Okay, we gotta take this pawn clearly. Yeah, yeah, we have to take that pawn. Uh, additionally, I think we go back in time and just take this pawn. Create a new timeline. And I think that actually works out pretty well for us. And like, I don't think there's a way you stop this pawn. Granted, you probably have some pawns we can't really stop either. Now that we've got a kings of, over here. Um, that's interesting. I guess this is the time we're playing on now. Ah, uh, great, great, great. Um, and obviously I can't do that. Uh, we could do this, though. Alright, queen. Perfect. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it holds up. Because uh, you're about to get a queen. Uh, luckily, you're not going to immediately check our king, but it's not looking good, let's just say. Uh, over here. Let's go there. Over here. Can't do match other than, say, this, for example. And I guess you can advance. I'd like to know just what's the purpose? Okay, so you've made a queen now. Congratulations. Uh, but I've got a queen first. And my queen is going to beat up your queen. Now where did you have a king in the past? Uh, good question, good question. So you used to have a king there, so if I take my queen and put her here, then I think I just win. Uh, additionally, I'm going to give my king some backup over here. Well, no, I'm just going to start taking pawns over here. Uh, no, I can't do that, because then I'd be checked by that king. Good to know, good to know. So in that case, I'm just going to get my king over here, have some backup, uh, and you can take that. There we go. Really what it came down to is it was a race to get a queen. And then once you have the queen, figure out how to best use the queen. That was actually a pretty good interesting mode. Okay, here's an idea. What if I tried playing against myself? Okay. I got, what, ten minutes aside? Okay, great. Well, well let's push the queen's pawn. Okay, um, hmm. We'll push our queen's pawn. Great, great. Uh, we're going to want to develop the bishop. If we place the bishop right there, that can be good for us. Ah, uh, hmm. You put the bishop there. We could attack the pawn. Uh, alternatively, we could put him in... Sh no, we can't do that yet. Could get our knight out there, maybe angle to attack the bishop. Probably want to start developing on the king's side of it, so let's get a Fianchetto, our other bishop. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. You put the pawn there, great. We just put our knight in front of the pawn. Might try to push us away, but then we take the bishop. But, you know, bishops are much more valuable in this game. Oh, he's trying to take our bishop, isn't he? Bishops are, in my opinion, far more valuable than knights in 5D chess, so we should probably move the bishop. Uh, in that case, where do I want to move the bishop to? We could even maybe go to the past. I'm not sure that's useful in any large respect, but we, we could do it. Oh, here's an idea. Well, no, that's not an idea. I was going to say, if we put bishop here, then takes. We'd have to take back with the pawn. Uh, and then this bishop's basically trapped. So, actually, yeah, I like this. We put our bishop there. If you're going to take our bishop, we take your bishop. Okay, If we now if we move the knights, he takes our bishop. And if we don't move the knights, he, you know, he like, takes their knights. So, well, actually, we've got an idea here. Let's push our pawn forward, protect our knights. 
Uh, you push the pawn forward to protect the knight. Actually, this is great. This is great. We take the knight now. Uh, wait, no, that wasn't good. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm, could take the bishop. Yeah, pr you just kind of have to at this point. Okay, um, surprised he hasn't castled yet. If we put our queen, well, it would be, hmm. Th this knight, this pawn is much less defended now, so I think we put our knight here in efforts to maybe take it in the future, although it is guarded by the queen, but some development is good. We could take our queen and put it in the past. Not sure. Ooh, that is actually a very good place for it. That basically guarantees we get the rook. In that timeline, at least. Very nice, very nice. Okay, we're playing on this board now. Um, hmm. I don't know what he was thinking. That clearly doesn't get him the rook. <laughs> and actually, uh, what, what do I do about this? Uh, yeah, double queen situation. Generally not the best. Uh, we can threaten the queen with our bishop. Ah, he's threatening the queen with his bishop. That's no good. Um, what, what could we do? We could put him in check. Not sure that'll help us long term, but we can do it. Hmm, we're in check. Great, well, I guess we'll just do that. Eh, I figured he'd probably do that. Um, let's see. Hmm... And obviously we need to move the queen. Question is to where? Actually, this is quite undefended now. Ah, he took my pawn. Drats. Um, let's see. Oh, and worth noting, we've got the other side over here now. So actually, can we just... No, can't quite do that. Um, I always forget how pawns work. Can you take... Nope, okay. Um, hmm... So if you were there, well, well, okay, hold on. First things first, on this board, actually, this pawn is undefended, so I think we take the pawn here. Then over here, obviously we ought to do something about the queen. Granted, the queen isn't, well, the queen is threatening this pawn, so maybe we drop the bishop back to protect the pawn and try to castle soon. Okay, so he dropped the bishop back to protect the pawn. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, oh, wait, I just take his rook, don't I? Whoa, 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 no, 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 I don't take his rook, because then his other rook takes me. Okay, yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Not a good idea. Uh, unless we can check the king over here. Then he would be unable to do that. Unfortunately, we can't do that just yet. We could, though, if we push our pawn forward, that opens up our bishop. Let's see, over here, uh, we clearly don't take the rook yet. Queen isn't under attack, so we should be fine on that front, at least for now. Not really sure. Well, we need to develop some of these pieces. So let's push the pawn forward to get the bishop developed, potentially. Okay. Oh, oh, that was a dumb move, because now his knight is free to take. Very good, very nice. I still would love to be able to attack that queen somehow, but I, I don't know how that's going to work. And this, this uh, pawn is effectively pinning in my uh, knight, which is annoying. Uh, I think maybe we just activate the queen and start... Maybe consider castling queenside? Activated the queen. Um, I, I think we can actually go with our check and uh, take strategy. Check over here. And take over here. We do lose a bishop in the exchange, but I think it should be fine, hopefully. Ah! Drats. Drats. We can't even take with the rook because we're in check. And we gotta do something about that. Um, well. I guess we take with the knights here, because that's what makes the most sense. And then over on this board, like, we could threaten, like, a queen trade. Not sure that's good for us, though. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, it's... Well, where would the queen want to go? If we could, like, if we did this, I think actually that might trap the queen. Hmm, trying to trap my eh? Well, uh, too bad, because I, I just take your knight now. Or your pawn. Uh, I think knight is what's gonna happen here, though. There we go. Uh, or, ooh, this like looks even better. I go and take the other rook. Take that. Oh come on. Um, I don't want to really offer a queen trade. I think that would be bad at this point. What I will do is I will put this bishop right here. 
Okay, um, that's fine. I believe this is a safe thing to take. Although, really, Queen's not under threat right now. I should castle. King is way too exposed. Okay, over here, again, maybe I develop the bishop and start thinking about castling pretty soon. That could be a good place to put the bishop. Well, no, it isn't, because the knight just takes you immediately. Um, like this. A drat! The queen is checking my king from all the way over there? That's not good. That's no bueno. Um, yikes. This is bad. Uh... Huh. I think I have to go back in time. The question is to where? And all I've really got to do is, like, take this queen out? So as long as this rook is alive in a new dimension, that should be possible. So if I put my queen, say, queen time travels back to here. That, you know, as long as this rook stays alive, I think we're going to be fine. Uh, on this other board... Wait, am I allowed to... Am I not allowed to do that? Does it have to be this one, perhaps? Okay, hold on. Oh, that makes things more difficult, to say the least. Ooh. Maybe we... Knight to here. All right, let's think about this. Knight goes here. All right, that gives us... So if we do this... Okay, great. Then... I think even actually just putting this knight here, the knight next to it, up on, uh, what is that, A3? I think that will solve it, actually. What's this new dimension? Um, uh, did you just take my queen out in this dimension? That's not fun. Um, hmm. What's your plan, even? I mean, obviously you gotta get this queen. Uh, you gotta... Uh, I mean, I think the only way they can get the queen is, like, by taking a knight, putting it there, but I already have that space uh, guarded, so I'm not sure what your your plan realistically is here. Um, and I could double guard it, just in case they come up with something, some sort of weird plan. So yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Okay, um, ah, that space is double guarded now. I can't make another dimension, realistically. I guess I have to do this, basically. But yep, now queen takes... And I still don't realistically have a way here to uh, sa save myself from this queen, unfortunately. I don't think so, anyway. Like, I don't think anyone can take the queen, unfortunately. And I don't think I realistically really can make a new dimension, but we can try. Like, if I'm going to make a dimension, let's at least make it one that's, like, decent. Which, granted, is, like, basically nowhere. Haha. <laughs> I mean, you can go there, maybe. What, a new dimension? Do I even need to play on this? Can I just, like... like... How many dimensions do I need to play on? Like, this, this white person is... like They've made all the dimensions. Well, no, they've made a couple of dimensions. Um... I mean... I guess I take the queen, right? That seems logical, even if I get taken back. Drat! Black one. Now, that was a clever maneuver there. Put in the queen with the rook. Ugh. And the check to avoid stop me from taking the rook. Ugh. Well played, well played. Yeah, so uh, you guys tell me if you like me playing against myself or if that was just dumb.